What are the biggest car buying mistakes that can cost you thousands of dollars? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Car Help Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. Now, as a consumer advocate and a consultant who has helped thousands of consumers over the years with their car purchases, I have seen a lot of major car buying mistakes that cost consumers a lot of money. And for this video, I'm gonna share some of the biggest mistakes that you need to avoid when shopping for a car at the dealership. But before getting into it, a huge thanks to Omvic, Ontario's vehicle sales regulator, for sponsoring a portion of this video. The first major car buying mistake that I see a lot of consumers make is buying a car that's beyond your budget or buying a car that's more car than you really need. Anytime you're buying a car, you need to clearly establish what your budget is and how much car you can afford. Many financial advisors recommend that all of your total car expenses, your car payment, fuel, maintenance, insurance, they should all add up to no more than 10% of your gross annual income which means that if you have an income of say around $80,000 a year, well all of your car expenses should be no more than around $800 per month. You need to do some research and understand how much all these expenses will cost you. And you need to make sure that whatever car you buy, you can pay it off within four years. Otherwise, make a huge down payment or pay cash. More on why a little bit later. But the point here is financial responsibility. Far too many consumers end up buying a car that's way too expensive that they simply cannot afford and they have buyer's remorse afterwards. And some of them even find themselves in major trouble where they're not able to afford all of the monthly expenses and possibly even get their vehicle repossessed in a worst case scenario, which is something that you need to avoid. And part of this is not feeling pressured by the dealership to buy a car that's beyond your budget. Remember, the car dealer salespeople are not your financial advisors. They are not necessarily looking out for your best interest to make the best financial decision for your particular needs. They're simply trying to sell cars and make money for the dealership. Always remember that. So it's up to you to do your research and make the right decision based on your budget and needs. And now speaking of the dealership, that brings us to the next major car buying mistake that you need to avoid, which is going into the dealership before you've negotiated a price on a vehicle you want to buy. The issue with going into the dealership too soon is that you're taking away all your leverage and putting yourself in a potentially high pressure situation where the dealer salespeople may try to pressure you and get you to pay more than you probably should. Negotiating the deal remotely from home with the dealership, typically by email, is the safest way to do it because that way you're doing everything on your terms, your timeline, and without having any dealership sales staff over your shoulder pressuring you to make a decision that could be the wrong decision for you. Getting price quotes by email is always best. That way you can review everything carefully and know exactly what you are getting. You can also use this as a negotiating tool by getting multiple quotes from different dealerships. This is a great way to see which dealership has the fewest or lowest number of fees, which one is willing to negotiate the most, and ultimately which one is willing to give you the best deal. And remember, it is always a red flag when a dealership refuses to give you any pricing information remotely or by email and insists that you must come into the dealership before they can discuss any pricing. Any dealership that does that is not being professional and transparent with you and it's a sign that you should probably be taking your business elsewhere. And with that, let's move on to the next major car buying mistake that you need to avoid which is not going over the price breakdown on the price quote. Every deal has a list of charges which are itemized on the price quote, and you need to go over them line by line to make sure you are only paying mandatory charges or charges that you have agreed to and nothing more. It is common for dealerships to add all kinds of fees or add-on products that you don't necessarily need to pay. 
These can include a big administration or dock fee, etching or anti-theft protection, wheel and tire or key fob protection, or really any kind of protection products for that matter. Many of these charges are added to simply add additional profit to the deal. So whenever possible, try to negotiate them out of the deal if you feel that they don't have any value to you. And it's also important to look over that price breakdown to make sure that the dealership has included any rebates or discounts that you may have negotiated or may be entitled to. Say if you managed to negotiate a really good discount, say 5% off the MSRP, or are eligible to receive any manufacturer rebates, you need to make sure that the dealership has included them in the price. Always check over all the paperwork extremely carefully and ask questions if something is not clear. And that brings us to the next major car buying mistake that I see way too many consumers make, and that's signing the contract before they've read it carefully and before they are ready. In many regions, including here in Ontario, there is no cooling off period after you sign the contract. OMVIC, Ontario's vehicle sales regulator, is responsible for administering and enforcing the Motor Vehicle Dealers Act, and unless a dealership has breached the act in a way that triggers a consumer's right to cancel, that vehicle sales contract is legally binding and there is no going back once you sign. If you have buyer's remorse and really want to cancel, it may be possible to work on a solution with the dealer. For example, the dealer may allow you to cancel a deal just as a goodwill gesture, or they may allow you to cancel in exchange for keeping your deposit or perhaps switching you into a different vehicle. The point is that the dealership is technically within their right to hold you to the deal, which is why you need to read over the contract very carefully before you sign. Make sure you're happy with all the terms and conditions with the price, and if you have any conditions or requests, make sure that everything is in writing on the contract. To learn more about your consumer protection rights and to access free car buying resources, just visit the OMVIC website. More information can be found in the description below. Okay, moving on to the next major car buying mistake that you need to avoid, which is taking way too long to pay off a car loan. Unfortunately, the majority of consumers are taking out extremely long loans, typically six, seven, even eight years to pay off a car, because the longer your loan is, the lower your payments are. This is a huge mistake because this is easily one of the most costly ways of purchasing a vehicle. The first reason why is because when you take out a longer loan, typically your interest rate on the financing is a lot higher, which means your total cost of borrowing is going to be a lot higher on that loan, sometimes by thousands of dollars. The other issue is that when you take a really long time to pay off a car loan, the value of that car is dropping faster than the rate at which you are paying it off. This is something that's known as negative equity because the car is worth less than what you owe. And if you need to sell or trade in that car for whatever reason, you could find yourself in major trouble with a huge debt load that needs to be paid off one way or another. I mentioned earlier in the video that the ideal window of time to pay off a car is four years. Generally, the shorter your loan, the lower your interest rate and the lower the cost of borrowing, which means you pay less money and own the car sooner. This should be the goal for any car purchase, paying it off as quickly as possible. Even paying cash can be a really good idea, especially for an older used car, which typically have much higher interest rates when financing. But if you are buying a brand new car that has a very low interest rate, ideally as close to 0% interest as possible, then it's perfectly fine to take out a loan and finance for say three to four years and ideally no more than that. And if that's the case, you can invest your cash elsewhere, which can be a very good move. And with that, it's time to get into the final car buying mistake that you need to avoid which is treating the dealership sales staff as your financial advisors. 
I touched on this one earlier and it's a major one. Always remember, the dealer is not looking out for you and your best financial interests. Their goal is to simply sell a car, make money for themselves and for the dealer. That's it. So please don't be naive and put your blind trust in the dealership and everything they're telling you and promising to you verbally because in the end it really doesn't mean much. All that matters is what's in writing on the contract on the purchase agreement when you sign the deal. If the dealership makes any kinds of promises to you, make sure you have everything in writing. Do not take a dealership's word for it. And remember, they're not ultimately looking out for your best interest. It's your responsibility to do your own homework, your own research, and make sure that whatever vehicle you're deciding to buy is a vehicle that you're happy with and that you can comfortably afford. And only at that point should you sign the deal. There, yes, it could be a major financial disaster, and it's a very difficult thing to do, buying a car from a dealership, not a straightforward process. But hopefully this video was a little bit helpful and you took some valuable tips away. So I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe if you did. You can also check out my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to visit carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.